it's time to uh, go ahead and start doing my basket weaving on this thing. It's going to be this kind of design. And I've got it laid out. i got my borders laid out. And I put a diagonal line here. I don't know if you can see that. Diagonal line there. Where I'm going to start my basket weave. The first thing we got to do is wet this thing. No big puzzle there. Just take a, take a sponge and uh, wet it. Even though I'm going to dye this black, I still like to keep in, in the habit of wetting the whole thing rather than just part of it. Now I'm going to give the water some time to soak in a bit and uh, we'll come back and get started on the stamping. Well that's just about right for me to go ahead and get started and the first thing I'm going to do is take my basket weave punch and put it right along this line kind of eyeballing it in the middle and give it a whack. Now what I do is I put the stamp in place and then I hit it once, tilt it, hit it the other way. Let me show you. I'll put it here along the line then I tilt it toward me just a little bit, give it a whack, tilt it away just a little bit, give it another whack, and I get a nice dark impression. And you can see the way that the, uh, the legs kind of overlap themselves. The way I do it is I put a strip along the middle and build out from that. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that and we'll be back. I got the strip along the middle done. And now, like I said, I'm going to start building out from there by taking my stamp and just spanning the legs. I call it legs, whatever. And just building out from that point. So actually, I'm going to start up here. And you can see how that's building up. Uh, let me do a little bit more and once again, we'll be back. Okay, once I get to like this point, and you see there's nothing I could really do that'll span two legs. So now I gotta start eyeballing it and like building off the end of this one, off the end of this one, off the end of this one, and eyeballing it in straight being careful not to put it in crooked because a lot of times if there's a mist stamp on here um nobody will ever notice but i will so i try to keep it neat find this guy up here eyeball him in And stamp it here. Okay, I'm going to do that for a little while. And hopefully, I don't screw it up. Okay, the main stamping's done now. Now I'm going to go in around the border and fill it in. Then I can start using my border tool. Basically what I do is like, um, let me pick a spot. 
Let's see, my right here. I'll take and I'll tilt my tool over so I don't make a full impression, but just a parcel impression and give it a tap. And that'll help to fill in a gap. And then once I go through with my border tool, it'll basically tie it all together. I can just deepen this impression here and here. And we're pretty much ready to go ahead and put that border in. Here's another one over here. Now, I'm going to start in a corner down here. Then go to the opposite corner. Lock that there. Take my border tool and just kind of space it across. Just push it a little bit to see how my spacing is. And because uh, the idea is I wanted to end even on the corners, I could fudge the spacing a little bit in the middle, that just gets lost in the mix. But you can really see if you're off on the corners. This one is just a little bit short, so I can fudge it a little bit to get to meet that one exactly. So I'm going to go ahead and work on my borders and we'll come back and see how I did. That's got all the stamping done then. I got my border put in and because I laid it out carefully, I've got the, uh, the border tool where it ends in each corner and I think that really helps the overall look. I think it looks better. Um, what I could do is I can just start at one end and go toward the other end and hope and pray that I'll get a full stamp. If I don't, then I could get like a partial stamp or a half a stamp. But I like getting full stamps in the corners and fudge in the space in a little bit to make sure that I do that. Also, whenever I make something for somebody, look for the bear paw. <laughs> you can tell that way that's a snubby original. Anyway. That's it for the stamping. Oh, and also I punched the hole for the snap. Um, that circle there, that was more of a thought line than anything else. But I think it's going to look great the way it is. Next step's going to be to get some dye on this. So next time you see this, it'll have some dye on it. I'll have the stamp, the stamp, I said it that way again, the snap set. Both sides will be black actually, and it'll be ready to glue these together. Now, I don't think that I have to uh, subject y'all to all that because basically, with dye, you just take a dauber, smear it all over, and if it's not enough, you smear more on and then you let it dry. Then, when you glue it, well, you put smear glue all over the inside of it on both sides, and once that's dry, you stick them together. So, <laughs> I guess I can. Go ahead and do all that and then get back to you. First thing I'm going to do is let this dry. Um, I'm going to look at it, see if there's some place where I can maybe improve it a little. But for the most part, the best thing to do is just keep my fingers off of it and let it sit. And we'll get back to you.